a strange and amusing place. One day you buy him rocket ship underpants, and then the next they're in outer space. Erica, welcome to Mommy Cats. Yes. Great, great to be here. Thank you. So, so what do you have for holidays? Okay, I have a couple of non-traditional and interesting holiday books for you guys mm -hmm. today because I think we've all seen the same old book year to year. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's fun to have something new. Right. So. Like not the night before Christmas again? <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's a place for all mm -hmm. that, but if you're looking for no, something... Yeah, you know, there's a tradition there. I know. You know? I know. But then, again, it's like anything else, you know? Let's spice it up a little. Yeah. Well, one of the books I brought today is called Mrs. Muddle's Holidays. Okay. okay. And this is a very fun book because this book promotes the idea of, of, of making up your own holidays. Okay. And in this book, the woman who the story is about comes up with holidays for everything. She has an earthworm appreciation day and a day where the whole neighborhood Don't we pretends. already have one of those? <laughs> yeah, I say. We have a lot of those around <laughs> our house. Um, a day where in the middle of winter the whole neighborhood pretends it's summer. And so wow. it's a really neat book about a whole community that comes to celebrate this woman and her wackiness. Mm -hmm. And it's also sort of a neat idea because you can kind of take a page from this book and encourage your kids to come up with holidays. I mean, kids mm -hmm. love having days to celebrate. Might come up with some really fun family traditions out exactly. of that. Exactly. Oh, that's a really good yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a great kind of starting place for some new, new holiday traditions or year-round traditions. Uh, another book I brought is a book called Celebrate Hanukkah, and it's about how Hanukkah is celebrated all over the world, and it's kind of neat to show kids that in places like Uganda, there are people who celebrate holidays that you might associate with just Israel or the United States. It's, it's kind of a mm -hmm. uh, bridging our world book, mm. so it's a neat book. We're all about that. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. So that's a great book. Mm -hmm. Another thing I thought we could talk about is encouraging kids to make their own presents. And we got oh. some great books. I always encourage my kids to make their own presents. Yeah, it's neat because kids, okay, they don't have that much money uh, oftentimes. They have a lot of creativity. Right. Why mm -hmm. not put it to work? And why not you know, teach them the value of doing things themselves? Right. This is a great book called DIY Kids. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, got great ideas. And the other thing that I like about this is that the projects in there are not kind of Martha Stewart perfect. They look mm -hmm. like kids made them. And I right. think that encourages kids. Well, yeah, you want this to be a project that the kids do, and that it's not it's not a project that's, you know, mis masquerading as a project for kids, but the parents end up having exactly. to Exactly. Oh, I have too much stuff to do at the holiday time already. Exactly. I do not need help with that. And but. these are also great. I mean, these are great ways to get dinner on the table. You know, set mm -hmm. your kids loose with a project from this book, and then you can do a couple of things, and they can have fun and feel a great sense of accomplishment. Yeah. And then along the lines of that, this is a terrific kid cookbook. Mm -hmm. um, Spatulata is these two girls who have this uh, cooking show, and as you can see from the back of the book, they're a little, they're silly like kids are, uh -huh. and it's got some great ideas for how kids can cook Ooh, stuff, and yeah. also has some really good projects that kids could cook as gifts. They have... Oh, yeah. All sorts of great How stuff. How cool is it for our kids to see that these kids, these are kids, they can cook, but they're also entrepreneurial. Yeah. You yeah. know, they've got kind of a business going. This yeah. Way. So mm -hmm. it's another way. It's, it's sort of two birds with one stone because you can also include your kids in a lot of the holiday cooking by showing, you know, by giving them a book like this mm -hmm. and then saying, hey, let's make that or hey, what do you, would you like to make? Right. And so it becomes a gift that keeps on giving. Right. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Well, thank you so much. These have been really, really, really great tips. Perfect. Thanks for having great me. Great options. Yeah. Can't wait. So much. For more about Erica Pearl and picking out holiday books for your kids, check out our website at mommycast.com. And happy holidays! Happy holidays! Mistletoe! <laughs> <laughs>